Hello everyone, my name is Noshat and today we are going to solve this question. The positive number A is 230% of the number B and A is 60% of the number C. If C is P% percent of B, which of the following is closest to the value of P? Option A 138, option B 217, option C 283, option D 383. So first we will write what is given to us. A is 230% of the number B. So we can write A is equal to 230%. We will get always out of 100. So we'll write it as 230 upon 100. Instead of off, we'll write multiply by B. So A is equal to 0, 0. We can cut 23 by 10. It will be 2.3 B. Now similarly, A is the 60% A is 60 of the number C. So we'll write A is equal to 60% of C. Then here again, A is equal to 60%. We'll get out of 100. Instead of off, we'll write multiply by C. Then 0, 0, we will cut. A is equal to 6 upon 10 will be 0 0.6 C. Now you can see they have given C is P percent of B. So we can write C is equal to P percent of B. So here we can write C is equal to P by 100 uh, multiplied by B. So it will be C is equal to 0 0.01 uh, PB. Now here what we can do C and B relation we need to find. So we can write this first result here and the second result here, both of them are showing A is equal to 2.3B and A is equal to 0.6C. So both of them are actually the values of A. So they are going to be equal to each other. 2.3B is equal to 0.6C. And we want only C here, just like here, there is only C. So we want only C here. So we will divide by 0.6 on both the sides. So here 0 0.6, 0 0.6 cut. 2.3 divided by 0 0.6, if we will do, then we will get 3.83 will be repeating. So I'm writing it here is equal to C. So it will be C is equal to 3.83 B here. So here what we had C is equal to 0 0.01 PB and here we have C is equal to 3.83 B. So 0 0.01 P is equal to 3.83. So in order to get rid of this 0 0.01, we just need to multiply by 100. We want only P value. So here we will multiply by 100 and same thing we'll do on the right side. We'll multiply by 100. So we'll get 0 0.01 into 100. It will be 1P is equal to 3.83 into 100. It will be 383. So 1P that is P is equal to 383 we will get. So 383 will be our answer. We can look at the options. Option D 383 we are getting. So this is the answer. I hope you understood this. Uh, if you find the video helpful, kindly like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.